ഞാൻ ഇപ്പോൾ ഉള്ളത് മണിപ്പാലാണ് മണിപ്പാൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് ടെക്നോളജി മാഹി എന്ന് പറയും മാഹി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ മണിപ്പാൽ അക്കാഡമി ഓഫ് ഹയർ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ അവിടെ മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് നടത്തുന്ന ഇൻ്റർനാഷണൽ കോൺഫറൻസ് ഓൺ നമ്പർ തിയറി ആൻഡ് ഗ്രാഫ് തിയറി ആ സെമിനാർ അറ്റൻഡ് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ടാണ് ഞാൻ വന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് ഈ ഹാളിൽ വെച്ചാണ് അതിൻ്റെ സെമിനാർ നടക്കുന്നത് തുടങ്ങിയിട്ടില്ല ഒമ്പതരയ്ക്കാണ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഇതാണ് സെമിനാർ ഹാൾ ഇതാണ് ഡോക്ടർ മാത്യു വർക്ക് ടി കെ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് കോളേജിലെ മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഹെഡാണ് അത് ഡോക്ടർ വിജയകുമാർ സാർ കുസാറ്റിലെ മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിൻ്റെ എച്ച് ഒ ഡി ആയിരുന്നു ഇപ്പോൾ റിട്ടയറായി എന്നെ പഠിപ്പിച്ച അധ്യാപകനാണ് ഇത് ടി കെ എം എന്നുള്ള റിസർച്ച് കോളേജാണ് academy of higher education when we contacted him and requested him to be the chief guest of today's function he readily agreed to be with us during this function hearty welcome to you sir thank you president of today's function first one is 
S. Bhargava from Mysore University, Mysore. Just his presence is an honor to all of us. Hearty welcome, ladies and And the other person is Professor Amar Vijay Kumar from QSAT, Cochin University of Science and Technology. And we, we are very happy to have you with us. I welcome all plenary speakers. Good morning, everyone. Respected Pro Chancellor Dr. H. S. Ballard, Below Director Commander Dr. Anil Rana, Professor S. Bhargava, University of Mysore, Professor Ambar Vijay Kumar, Professor Kerala, or Below HOD Dr. Sudhakar Aji, dear speakers from abroad and in India, dear participants, business scholars, and my dear colleagues. The International Conference on Number Theory and Graph Theory aims to bring together the leading academics, scientists, researchers and research scholars to exchange and share their experience and research results about all aspects of computational <coughs> science and innovations. It also provides a premier interdisciplinary forum for young scientists to present their latest research results, ideas, developments and applications in the areas of number three. A very good morning to everyone present here. Today I am so delighted to take up this task of introducing to you Dr. H. S. Bella, our respected Pro Chancellor of Manipal Academy of Higher Education. Born and brought up at Udupi, Dr. H. S. Bella had his education till PUC at Udupi did his MBBS from Government Medical College, Mysore, and his post-graduation in Radiology from Bengaluru Medical College. Later, he had training in ultrasound and CT scan at St. Louis University, USA, and thereafter he joined as a faculty in Radio Diagnosis at Kasturba Medical College, Mangalore, in the year 1971. He became the Associate Dean in 1997 and later Dean in 2001. He served as the Vice Chancellor of Manipal Academy of Higher Education, Mahe, in 2003 and then as the Pro Chancellor, Mahe, from the year 2007. First of all, I should thank Baiju for the nice sentiment, exaggerated introduction of the Chief Guest which is a common practice, I am sure all of you are aware. <clears throat> That's why I always tell my wife to come whenever I am invited, <laughs> so that my status at home will rise. <laughs> this time she refused to come. 
here I am not only getting reputation inside the country, national reputation, but international reputation, uh, reputation also, because a lot of international delegates are also participating in this program. Our uh, an energetic, dynamic uh, director of uh, Mighty MIT, I call it as Mighty MIT because this is the largest institution of our university with more than 2,000 admissions per year. So at, a, at any point of time, there will be about 10,000 students from MIT only in the campus. That's why we call it as Mighty MIT. Other distinguished uh, delegates, other, other dignitaries on the day, invitees from outside the country, resource persons, faculty members of MIT, and my dear uh, students of MIT. Actually, about uh, two weeks ago, uh, Sudhakar and Sri Vatsa, they came to my office and said uh, they are hosting an international conference on mathematics, number theory and graph theory, which is Greek and Latin for me, because I am a novice as far as mathematics is concerned. I readily agreed to come, not because I am an expert in mathematics, but I always want to participate in these seminars, conferences, which is organized by various departments of various institutions. Basically, one is to interact with our delegates who come from outside uh, Manipal and also international conferences outside the country also, to introduce myself and also give them an opportunity to interact with us and also go around the campus. That's what I was telling my delegate from, you are from which country? Yeah, Iran, yes, from Iran, because seeing is believing. So we want all our delegates who come from outside to go around the campus and see for them that's what we do here in Manipal. So I have requested the director to make arrangements during the next three days. I am given to understand that conference is for three days. Have a slot so that they can all go and see the campus for themselves. Now we are see we are providing infrastructure facilities the best possibly, not only for academic activities, even for sports, cultural and extracurricular activities also. Because we strongly feel, in addition to academic activities, which is, should be their priority, they should involve themselves in extracurricular and co-curricular activities because it will help in the overall development of their personality. That's the reason what we do. And as far as the administration or is concerned, our priority is to provide the best infrastructure facilities so that students and researchers will have optimum. At the president of today's function, our own Director, Commander Dr. Anil Rana, the Director MIT Manipal. Dr. Rana is an ex-Indian Navy Commander from the Engineering Branch who has a record of distinguished service both in the Navy as well as in the field of education. Dr. Rana hails from Mumbai where he completed his early education. He graduated from Naval College of Engineering in the year 1992. He then later obtained Masters from IIT Delhi and PhD from IIT Mumbai. Dr. Rana was commissioned in the Indian Navy in the year 1991. During his naval service, he served in seven different warships in various capacities and was directly responsible for effective and optimal operation and maintenance of... Uh, Dr. H. S. Balan, Professor Bhagav, Professor Ambad, uh, Dr. Sudhakar, Dr. Srivats, <coughs> delegates, some of uh, you have traveled very long distances to be here. Uh, staff, researchers, students, ladies and gentlemen. It uh, gives me great pleasure to be here uh, during the international conference on number and graph theory. And uh, I would like to firstly compliment uh, the Department of Mathematics for conducting a second conference in less than two weeks. Uh, look at the way you're going. And uh, this department of course has outdone uh, themselves. Uh, they have also started to very uh, niche programs, I would say, in undergraduate. One is in collaboration with the data science and the other in collaboration with humanities management, computer science. So uh, this is the way to go, collaboration between various departments to come out with programs that is going to help the students improve their employment opportunities. Uh, Respected dignitaries on and off the desk, uh, delegates from India and abroad, researchers and my dear colleagues. With great honor and pleasure, I would like to introduce Dr. S. Bhargava to August Gathering. He is a native of Vasare village in Chikmangaluru district in Karnataka. He had climbed the ladder of success through his zeal of research 
education and technology. He has achieved many milestones in his life that one can write a book on his achievements. He has obtained MSc degree in mathematics from Central College, Bangalore in 1961. He had secured his bachelor's degree in electrical and communications engineering from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore in 1964. Later, he graduated with his MS and PhD from Carnegie Mellon University, Pittsburgh, USA in 1970 and 1972 respectively. He has worked in the Department of Postgraduate Studies and Research in Mathematics, University of Mysore from 1979 to... As a stellar professor, I'm going to check Kumarai. I don't trust my memory anymore. Not that I did previously. Uh, so I'll read out some of the things I have. It's noted down. Honorable Pro Chancellor Dr. Ballal, Honorable Director Dr. Anil Rana, Commander, Professor Ambat Vijay Kumar, Professor Sudhakara, Professor Sivats Kumar, dignitaries on and off the dais, from home and abroad, participants, teachers, students, teacher scholars, and admirers of mathematics assembled here. At the outset, I wish to gratefully thank the Honorable Pro-Chancellor, his colleagues and organizers of the conference for giving me this opportunity of sharing some of my thoughts on this August occasion. I feel humbled and stymied, sir. I'm also thankful to the co-organizing office bearers of the Jangyan Mathematical Society. I'm especially thankful to Professor Srivats Kumar for taking the trouble of visiting me in Mysore to invite me to take part in the conference. In fact, I feel highly privileged to be amidst you today in this esteemed institution of higher education <coughs> of international fame, Manipal Academy of Higher Education, situated in this beautiful and sprawling campus in the Karawali region. I'm also proud that uh, some of everyone I am happy to introduce eminent speaker, Dr. A. Vijay Kumar, Emeritus Professor, QSAT uh, to the gathering. Dr. Vijay Kumar had completed MSc and PhD from Cochin University of Science and Technology, QSAT, in 1980 and 1986 respectively. He had begun his career at RIC Calicut in 1986 and joined his alma mater QSAT in the year 1988 and served in various positions like head of the department of three terms, director of center for interdisciplinary studies and honorable deputy director of center for science and society, science in society and retired in May 2018. His research interest includes discrete mathematics, graph theory, complex networks, history of mathematics, mathematics education, talent search and popularization. He was the Fellow Institute of Combinatorics and its application, Canada in 1999. Members on the dais and of the dais, I am thankful to the organizers for inviting me to sit on this part of the auditorium, possibly because I have more white hairs. I did a blunder at the age of 35, I started applying hair dye and that created the whole problem. So. My advice to young, old people is please don't apply hair <laughs> dye. Uh, congratulations to the team ICNG for bringing together two major areas of research. One, with, one which has a very strong footing in India, number theory, and uh, the other branch graph theory which is about 300 years old. So, whoever speaks or tells about number theory, definitely the name of uh, Srinivasa Ramanujan comes. So, we had a very huge conference online to mark the 100th death anniversary of Srinivasa Ramanujan two years ago, which was attended by people like uh, George Andrews, Bruce Burnt, Ken Nono and so many great number theorists. So, it's a good opportunity to meet young people 
So when I was sitting on this part of the dais, I was having a nostalgic feeling. My first conference presentation was in 84, and I was the only person from Kerala who attended this conference. Now I see my academic children, grandchildren, and my friends and old students sitting on the auditorium. Some of them have come to know about the graph theory and number theory. express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them, by John F. Kennedy. Saying thank you creates love. On behalf of the organizing team, it's my privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this occasion. Let me first start by giving glory to Almighty God for making this inaugural function a resounding success. My heart fills with lots of gratitude and respect to, for our distinguished chief guest, Dr. H. S. Balwal, Pro Chancellor Mahe Manipal, for not only sparing his valuable time for us to grace the occasion, but also for your thought-provoking speech. 